Before last season, the Northwestern Lehigh girls basketball squad held tight to the Colonial League crown for three straight seasons, but had to settle for a semifinals finish in leagues last year. However, unlike most of their league rivals, the squad is returning its entire starting five this winter and is eager to capture the title. I definitely think it'll give us a little bit of an advantage because, as I said, most of our team's back and we've played in those bigger games. We played in the playoffs last year, and so I think it definitely, um, or hopefully in those playoff time and when that comes, we can lean on our experience and use that to our advantage. I think last year, getting them the experience that they got, we were pretty young last year. I mean, we really had like two seniors. That was about it. So we have to have five starters back that got a lot of experience last year really helps in that sense that these girls sort of know our system so we can gradually build in the stuff throughout the year that we want to do but they know what we want to try to do so I think it helps us to get a leg up I mean we have a game a week from Friday already so the day after Thanksgiving is our first official game in the tournament so and it'll be here before you know it. Along with its chemistry, another strength of the team heading into the winter season is the versatility of its players and its ability to throw out a variety of lineup combinations on the floor. The squad has several players who can play any position on the court and will pose a challenge to the teams defending them. I think we definitely can move up and down the court pretty well and we still have shooters too that can shoot from the outside so I think we're going to be definitely hard to stop up and down the court because we, have, we also have size, we have rebounding, but we can also be quick and uh, put all of our guards out there too. Although the rapid turnaround from the fall to the winter sports season could pose a challenge for Northwestern, the Tigers don't see it that way. The group has multi-sport athletes from its soccer and field hockey teams that saw great success in the fall, and the group believes that the achievements of the school's fall sports programs could serve as motivation and momentum for the winter. That's something I would like to see, like just to be able to go like as far in basketball as like the, some of the fall sports teams were able to. Um, obviously, it's a goal of ours to get to the Colonial League and you know, make it as far as we can in districts because that's something that we haven't done yet. But, you know, we're going to take every game, like game by game, and work on everything at practice and just slowly get better and build up our team chemistry. It was nice to get our girls soccer players back this week. Uh, we started practices on Friday and Saturday last week. We had six girls for the practices, so it's now we're up to 15. I think success breeds success, you know, to have, you know, that on Saturday night to watch our boys and girls soccer both win state championships. I mean, that's once in a lifetime thing and I, we were so excited for both teams and we have a lot of success up here. It puts a lot of pressure on the winter sports for sure, but we'll do our very best. At Northwestern Lehigh, I'm Sierra Jones for the Service Electric Network. Want to watch all of our SEN programming live? Anyone can for only $9.95 a month, no matter who your cable or internet provider is. Click the link below to download and sign up today.